All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. We still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Heruel and Shalom, Labacharium, Wabarakium, Shaya Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashawan Kwadash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, pretty much the name of this lesson through the Spirit is going to be called Yahweh Shah is our foundation. All right, now when I say ours, I'm referring to mainly here at Great Millstone, but also the other camps that are affiliated with Great Millstone teaching the 100% doctrine uh, according to the Bible. All right, so the first precept I'm going to grab is the book of 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. Let's see, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 10. This is 1 Corinthians 3, verse 10. It says, according to the grace of Yahweh, that's who the word even calls God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation and another builder thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right, see? Because we building off the Yahweh Shai, man. You see? That's why we walk on eggshells in this truth concerning the scriptures, all right? To make sure we don't go off, you know what I'm saying, and say something that is totally contrary to the Bible. And you know what that's called? That's called the fear of the Lord, all right? Which is the beginning of the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. We're going to teach what we know, right? It says, just like the uh, elder apostles, the elder bishops, they do as well, all right? It says, verse 11. It says, for other foundation can no man lay upon, like it, for, uh, for other foundation can no man lay that than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai, right? See? So Yahweh Shai is our foundation, which I got the definition of the word foundation, right? The foundation, the definition, when you look it up, this is from the Miriam Webster Dictionary. It says, Usually a stone or concrete structure that supports a building from underneath, right? See, and without that, that foundation, man, you can't build no building, man. You see, and if you try to do that, that building is going, it ain't going to last too long. As a matter of fact, I got a commentary on that scripture, but let me go to this first. Let me go to this. This is the book of Matthew. Let's see, chapter 7, verse 24, okay? It says, therefore, whosoever hear these words of mine and do of them, so they're also being a, a hearer and a doer of the word, right? That That's a sincere heart, one that fears the Lord. It says, I will liken unto him a wise man, which buildeth his house upon, that ro upon a rock, which that rock is Yahweh Shai. All right. And Yahweh Shah gave the authority to the head apostle Peter to pretty much go teach the truth to the Israelite foreigners, man. You see, upon this rock, uh, that's why he named him uh, Peter, surnamed him Peter, which means a rock. It says, verse 25, and the rain descended and the floods came, which the rain represents uh, the persecution, right? The hells. That we're suffering, you know, for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And it says, And the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock, right? See, which is Yahweh Shah. That's why, you know, although all the uh the scoffers, the scorning that we that we get, you know what I'm saying? By us having our faith and trusting Yahweh Shah, you know, we stand firm, man. 
You see, because our foundation is built upon a rock. So it don't matter how much um, Esau, Edom comes down upon us with, we're going to stay firm in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, Lord is willing to be part of the elect. Because that's what the elect is going to do. Okay. It says, verse 26, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which buildeth his house upon sand. Now, that's, these are these other Israelite groups out here that's teaching lies. These, these, these are the ones of our people in these church houses, you know, and these other philosophies and religions, right? Their house is built upon sand, and it says, which is the lies. Verse 27, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew. Right, see? Matter of fact, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. That's why you got our people beginning with those who know that the Israelites, you see, uh, uh, drinking, sipping on that lemonade, man. You know, you know, brothers know what I'm talking about. You know, they, they totally complying with Esau, man. You see, telling their people, their congregation to get that spider juice, man. You know, so, you know, that's, that's, that's how. You know, Yahweh Shah said uh, that the foolish man is like him, man, that built his house upon the sand. And it fell, man. Once the hell and the, uh, the pressure came, you see what I'm saying? They couldn't handle it. So they so they totally complied with Esau. All right. And they're going to do the same thing with the MOTB, the Karakma. So back in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 11, it says, For other foundation can no man lay that is laid which is Yahweh Shah. All right, see? As a matter of fact, verse 12. Now if any now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble, which is a hay straw, right? Or straw. It says, Every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it. Right? See, see, so we know the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, they're going to be gold, they're going to be silver, they're going to be precious stones, you know. And we know these other guys, these other groups out here, they're going to be wood, they're going to be hay, and they're going to be stubble, which is straw, right? And it says, every man shall be manifest, every man's work shall be made manifest, meaning being evident, for the day shall declare it, meaning show it, because it shall be revealed by fire. Now, we know fire, when it, when it comes to silver, when it comes to gold, when it comes to precious stones, it refines them, okay? And gets the impurities, also, get the impurities off of them, and they become even more valuable, you know? But we know when fire touches wood, hay, or stubble, which is hay straw, it consumes it, all right? So if your work is, 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 is wicked, you're not going to last, man. You see, the Lord's going to uh, destroy you. But if your Lord, if your works be good, Yahweh Bashim is going to pretty much help you push through all the way into the end and, and be delivered or had to get put to death for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. You know? Because that fire represents the, uh, the hell, the tribulation. You know what I'm saying? That we go through, right? Uh, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is, right? See, so you see, they're going to make you, or they're going to break you. You see, they're going to refine you, or it's going to devour you. You know, and we're hoping to be the refiners. You know, which you know, through the spirit, you know, it's kind of evident, but we're, we're relying on faith. So back, so now we're going to get First Peter, the second chapter, and the fourth verse. Right, first, uh, first Peter two and four it says, "To whom coming unto, as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh, and precious, ye also as lively stones are built upon the spiritual house." Right, which is beginning with Yahweh Shah. Right, it says a holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. And how do we do that? By presenting our bodies as living sacrifices. By risking our lives, our freedom. 
to do the Lord's work, man. You see? Everything that we had going on in the world, we totally let it go and to serve Yahweh by Shem Shah. It's acceptable unto Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Right, but us doing the works, man. You see? So now we're gonna go from there. Let's see. Uh let's go to Ephesians. That's a pretty good one to do. Let's see. Ephesians the second chapter. Bear with me. Let's see. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Uh, yeah, verse 20. We'll go straight to the point. Ephesians 2, verse 20. It says, in our uh, matter of fact, verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but, but fellow citizens with the saints, which are the Israelites, and of the household of Yahweh Barsham Yahushua. And it says, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles. Okay, you know, starting with uh, Elder Abba Vivens, right? Uh, the prophets, Yahweh Shah himself, being the chief cornerstone, right? It says, in whom all the building uh, fitly framed, meaning joined together, grow up unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom you are also built it together for an habitation of Yahweh through the spirit all right see so it all starts off with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh put the spirit on certain men to bring out the truth and that started with Elder Abba Vivens man all down to you know the elders that taught our apostles now the elder apostles and the elder bishops all down to the care pairs that are down to younger brothers such as myself, man. You know, and so why do you all about Shimei Shah for that? You know? So now, my fact, I bring out one last one. It's in 1 Corinthians, I believe. Hold on. Hold on, make sure it's the right one. Yep, this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 9. All the scriptures that are reading are applied to the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. It says, For we are laborers together with Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Right, see? And what's our labors? Doing what I'm doing right now, doing what other brothers are doing, reading, studying, praying, going out down the highways and hedges and teaching now, teaching the scriptures and breaking it down the right way, right? It says, Ye are Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's husband tree, which means a seed. Okay, a planter, a farmer, right? Ye are Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's building, aka a church, all right? Which, you know, starting off with the head apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, you know, we are the building of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, and the other camps that are affiliated with great millstone, all right? Teaching the truth according to the Bible, okay? So, yeah. So, Lord Yahweh Shah is our foundation, man. Without Yahweh Shah, hey, we nothing. So Lord's windows edifying to next time I say shallow on.